So a few commenters have been saying that Shanks intentionally lost his arm to inspire Luffy, and that's not quite true. What Shanks says when Whitebeard asks about his arm is that he gave it up for the sake of a new era. In other words, he traded his arm for Luffy's life because he believes that Luffy is just that important, but he did trade it. Nothing here implies that he lets it get bitten off intentionally. That's reasoning backwards from the assumption that Shanks is so strong that it must have been on purpose. What's more, if he did that, it would undercut the point of the story. It opens with Luffy stabbing himself to prove how tough he is, and Shanks and his crew try to teach him the whole chapter why that is not the way. If you're gonna set out to sea, if you're gonna risk danger and get hurt, it has to be for something you believe in, to protect the things and people that you care about, not just to look good or tough in front of others. And that lesson only works if Shanks loses the arm, if he has to make a choice between his own body and Luffy's life, and chooses Luffy. If he hurt himself on purpose just to look cool and inspire the kid, well, how's that any different from Luffy stabbing himself? No, Shanks lost his arm to the Sea King, because otherwise his lesson for Luffy is nothing but hollow posturing. Themes trump power scaling.